Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This is a uh, lesson is find a part of a group. This is lesson 7-1 in our textbook. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Every now and then I, I go to that. Let me show you that real quick. Let me get rid of this. Uh, okay, so here's MrMathBlog.com. And then oh, up here are all the classes that I teach. So if you, um, uh, if you go over here, this is a fifth grade lesson. So when you go over here, that's going to go right underneath chapter six right here. So I don't know what color I'll pick, probably purple or something like that, okay, for chapter seven. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this lesson. It goes pretty fast, you guys. So here we go. Here's our common course strand for our teachers. And then our question is, how can we find fractional parts of a group? Okay, so that's what this is about, finding fractional parts of a group. So here we go. Keith has 20 marbles. Four-fifths of them have blue in them. So how many of Keith's marbles have blue in them? So what we're looking for is we're going to find four-fifths of 20. Now in math, you guys, this word right here, the word of, means multiply. So it's the same thing as four-fifths times 20. So four-fifths of 20 is the same as four-fifths times 20. So here we're going to use 20 counters. Here's 20 counters over here. And since we want to find four-fifths of the marbles, we should arrange uh, uh, the 20 counters in, well, look at this denominator right here. It should be arranged in, in five uh, equal groups right here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and arrange them in these five equal groups right here put the counters in these five groups. So if we just started doing this, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you put one in, in one, and then you put, I'll just go down this one, put another one here, and then another one here, and just keep going. Okay, and so if we just keep going, and so we have one in each of the, of the five groups right there, and then we start putting a second one in each of the five groups. So we keep doing that, and keep doing that. Okay, and so I've done that. I've already done that on the other slide right here. So I just kept doing that until I got them all in the five equal groups right there. Let me slide that up here. Oh, not yet. So how many counters are in each group? Well, it's pretty easy to see that there's four counters in each of these groups right here. Okay, so remember, we're going to find this is in fifths right here. We got them separated into five equal groups. So there, here's one fifth, here's two fifths, here's three fifths, here's four fifths, here's five fifths right there. Okay, you can probably see what we're going to do next. So each of these groups represents one fifth of the marbles right here. And then so let's circle four of the, or four fifths of the counter. So this is one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, fourth fifth. So we're going to circle these. I didn't circle them. I put a big rectangle around them right there. Okay, so how many groups were circled or rectangled, I guess? So there were four of those groups that are circled right there. Okay, so there that represents four of the five groups or four fifths right there. So how many counters did we circle? Well, here's 4, plus 4 is 8, I'm counting the counters inside, plus 4 more is 12, plus 4 more is 16. So we circled 16 counters right there. So 4 fifths of 20, or four, remember, of means multiply, so 4 fifths times 20 is going to be 16 right there, okay? So what we did is we separated them up into this many groups right here, the denominator, that's how many groups we separated them up, and then this is how many... Uh, of the groups that we count in each one, okay? So as long as we separate them up into this many groups and then uh, circle this many after we separated them up into this many groups, that'll be our answer. All right, so so um, uh, 16 of the marbles have blue in them, okay? We always got to answer the, the question in the context of the problem. Well, how many groups would we circle if three-fifths of the marbles had blue in them? Well, here's our, here's our counters again right here. Here's one-fifth, two-fifth, here's three-fifths right here. So we'd circle these three groups right here. And so if we circled three groups, that would be 12 of them with blue in it, okay? So here's uh, eight, uh, four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, okay? If they asked for two-fifths, well, here's two-fifths right here. There would be eight, okay? You get the idea? All right, let's try another one here, you guys. Kendra is practicing seen her free throws for a basketball team. She shoots uh, the ball 12 times. She makes two-thirds of her shots. So how many free throws did she make? Okay. All right. So we're going to draw an array that represents 12 shots by drawing uh, these X's right here. And so instead of drawing uh, using the counters, we'll just draw little X's right here for each of the free throws. And since we want to find two-thirds of the free throws, our array, uh, array should be show, uh, show how many rows. It should show uh, this denominator right here. It should show 
that's hard to say, uh, three rows right there. So look at the denominator, and that's how many um, uh, rows we're going to do. Now remember, rows go sideways, you guys. Columns go up and down. And I remember this like a Colosseum has these columns that go up and down that hold them. Column, Colosseum. So columns go up and down. Rows go side to side. So here, that here's 12 uh, of these X's right here in three different rows right there. Do you see that? One row, two row, three rows right there. All right, and then we're going to circle two of them, okay? So uh, let's circle two of those uh, three rows to show two-thirds of 12, okay? So I circled those uh, two rows right there, and then so, um, so complete the number sentence. So two-thirds of 12 is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight, and remember, two-thirds of is the same as two-thirds times 12, so it's going to be eight right there, all right? So let's answer the question. So Kendra made eight of her free throws. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense. Take care, you guys.